If you've been paying attention to my channel, then you know that I focus on overall well-being. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about how diet affects your mental health. We will also be understanding three macronutrients that your body needs in order to improve its brain function. And I will also be giving you guys a recipe that is well-balanced so that you can create a well-balanced meal. Let's get started. happening guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today if you are new here and you enjoy personal wellness content mental health content as well as cooking videos and vlogs and everything that is just good for the soul then do consider subscribing so you don't have to miss another video from me again okay we've all heard about a well-balanced diet but let's be honest eating a salad all day every day is just not practical at least not for me Which is why a little later on, we will be making a well-balanced meal. But first, let's understand what diet does to your mental health so that we can make the necessary changes in our diet to help assist our mental health. Now, when I talk about mental health, I am referring to depression as well as anxiety disorders. If you have not seen my videos regarding those two, do check them out right over there. Over there. Now this will get a little bit technical, but I hope you guys stick with me so that we can get through this information. According to neurosciencenews.com, poor diets worsen the symptoms of anxiety disorder as well as depression, while a well-balanced diet such as the Mediterranean diet improve these symptoms. Now a Mediterranean diet is a diet that is normally highly packed in fruits, vegetables, lean protein such as fish and a lot of seafood and little to no carbohydrates if any at all. It has also shown that people that are on the Mediterranean diet experience 25 to 30 percent less risk of having depression and anxiety disorders due to their diets because it releases so much serotonin as opposed to the typical western diet which sometimes can have a lot of takeaways and fatty foods and fried foods and all these things that we love to eat that is not good for us so what is a balanced diet you ask a balanced diet is basically when you consume all the nutrients that your body as well as your brain needs in order to function correctly which brings us to the three macronutrients that we will be focusing on today. Number one, lean proteins. Now, I specifically say lean protein because you can get proteins from a lot of different things. You can get proteins from just eating normal meat. However, lean protein would mean skinless white meat like chicken fillets, turkey, a lot of fish that is high in omega-3 fatty acids. And I'll leave a list of more of these foods in the description box. So do check that out so that you can understand exactly what lean proteins are that your body needs in order to maximize its brain capacity. Number two, healthy carbohydrates. Now I am focusing on the word healthy because I don't want you guys to say, yeah, but I eat a lot of carbohydrates such as pasta, which is not healthy carbohydrates. And I talk about healthy carbohydrates. I am referring to your fruits and vegetables such as broccoli, spinach, sweet potatoes, even potatoes. But obviously you always have to eat in moderation and watch the amount of carbohydrates that you eat. Make sure that in your meal, your carbohydrates are not bigger than your I'm not somebody that counts my calories so I just like to dish up my food in small portions and make sure that I'm getting an equal amount of healthy fats, carbohydrates and my lean proteins. Remember, carbohydrates are your body's main source of energy so make sure to hydrates with each and every one of your meal or at least most of your meal. The goal should be to ultimately minimize or as much as possible take out unhealthy carbohydrates from your diet. I know this is easier said than done because the less of unhealthy carbohydrates include your pizza, your pastas, your bread, your fruit juice, your cookies, and oh my god! I personally am not willing to get rid of my relationship with fruit juice, but I am consuming much less of it, so maybe about half a glass a day instead of a full glass. Get my drift? I hope this makes sense. Remember, in the beginning I said carbohydrates are your body's main source of energy. So make sure to include the carbohydrates with each and every one of your meal or at least most of your meals. 
but it is a process so don't be too hard on yourself you guys it takes a lot of work to get to a point where your body is used to having only healthy carbs now the last micronutrient that we are going to be talking about is healthy fats i'm talking avocados nuts such as macadamia nuts almond nuts peanuts as well as good oils like coconut oil olive oil and other good carrier oils that are 100 organic you may notice that sometimes when you eat burgers or pizzas or anything really unhealthy you get this overly full feeling you feel like you're so bloated and you even have low energy this is because you are fueling your body with the wrong carbohydrates i cannot stress this enough you guys these will worsen symptoms of your anxiety disorder your depression and even your mood you may feel like like you're in a bad mood this obviously varies from person to person but it is important to try to as much as possible eat as healthy as you can Whew. now that we are done with all that information thank you so much for staying with me it's time for us to get cooking so let's go to the kitchen and let's start cooking we are going to be making a very easy pan seared salmon with potatoes as well as a avo and tomato salad let's get started so to make this you will need four pieces of salmon or you can choose to do half of the portion and i like to keep the skin on because then it can be crispy on top you will need half a juice of lemon you will need four medium-sized potatoes and i do not peel off the skin but you guys can choose to peel it off if you want you will need extra virgin olive oil or normal olive oil can also work just fine you will need one cup of almond milk or coconut milk you will need garlic flakes, black pepper, as well as sea salt or Himalayan salt and parsley to garnish. And for the salad, you will need one small tomato as well as one avo and some seasoning of salt and pepper. Now for the salmon, you just want to use black pepper as well as Himalayan or sea salt to season. And that is the only thing that I find works best with salmon. You guys can choose to add your favorite herbs if you like, but this is what I like to use for my seasoning. Next up, you want to season it on the other side and I normally like to use garlic flakes instead of fresh garlic because fresh garlic I find cooks very, very quickly and salmon only needs about 8 to 10 minutes to cook thoroughly. Now next, I'm going to be squeezing half a juice of lemon and I will still be using this lemon a little later on. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Now let's get back to the video. Now what's in here is a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and I'm using my hand to double check the temperature to make sure that my salmon is ready to go in and yes it is so now it's time to add. As you guys can see I'm putting my salmon skin down. The reason why I do that is because I like the skin side to be the crispy side. The best tip that I can give you guys, as you guys can hear, my salmon is sizzling in the pan, is leave it alone. Cook it for only four minutes on each side, but don't touch it. Only touch it when it is time to turn it around. Now that the salmon has been cooking for four minutes on each side, it is time for us to turn it around. And for that, I am just, and you can see that golden color, and that is exactly what you guys want. So all I did now was just add some lemon slices on top and I will be squeezing a little bit of my lemon juice that is left. And our salmon is done. Now on to the potatoes. Potatoes have been cooking for at least 30 minutes. So you just want to give it a nice mix, just like that. And I'm adding about a quarter cup of almond milk. And this is just to give your potatoes a really nice taste and give it a creamy taste without using actual 
cream which is fattening and not good for your overall brain function as well as overall health. I'm going to let this cook for another 20 to 30 minutes and it should be ready. Now to make the salad you guys, you only need two ingredients and we are starting right now. Now don't be alarmed you guys, I did end up cutting myself when I was cutting the lemons but I didn't bleed so you guys don't have to be alarmed, this is just a plaster so you guys don't have to see that. So now we're going to be cutting our avo. tip that I would like to give you guys is to add a bit of lemon in order to stop the avo from browning add a pinch of salt and a little bit of black pepper about a pinch and you are done There you have it, a well-balanced meal. But the proof is always in the pudding, so let's give this a try. Mm. Oh my God. Salad is so complimentary to the salmon. I know it doesn't look that good, but it tastes amazing. Mm. I hope you guys have learned something so please don't forget to hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video and don't forget to share this to your friends and help more people if you guys like my content please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye now